So, good afternoon guys. Um, our third lesson for this semester or this summer is preparing sandwiches. So, our objectives, number one, identify sandwich component. And then, identify bread suited for sandwich making. And then, identify the suitable fillings and spreads. Okay, so let's first define, define what is sandwich. So, a sandwich is a food item consisting of two pieces of bread with meat, cheese, or filling between them, eaten as a light meal. The sandwich began as a portable finger food in the Western world. So, meaning uh, when we speak of portable, madadala ra siya. Um, so, this kind of food is on the go. And then, over time, it has become a prevalent worldwide. Then, sandwiches are a popular type of lunch food taken to work, school, or picnics. So some famous example of sandwich are the following. So we have American Club Sandwich, uh, Ruben Sandwich, Hamburger, Hot Dog, Croquet Monsieur, Pan Mi, Burritos, Tuna Sandwich, Neg Sandwich, and so on. So <clears throat> what are the concepts of creating a sandwich. So it should have a good quality ingredient. Of course, I think in any or sabisan asang uh, food preparation, we should use quality ingredients, especially some of our restaurants. And then we should have delicious taste, um, should be attractive, or it should have attractive color combination. And then the texture must melt in the mouth. Assembly can happen in advance, so pwede ni mo siya i-assemble uh, in advance or um, as soon as needed. So it depends on the desired outcome. And then the size of a sandwich can be small or large. Can, there, are, uh, there are sandwich that are hot or cold. And then it can be op uh, open-faced like the canopy or closed sandwich. But most of the time, is the closed sandwich. And then the filling can be wrapped or between sliced bread. So that's why not my sandwich wrap like anong makita ninyo sa shawarma uh, stores or shops and then four components of the sandwich must be used in the sandwich creation. So let's talk about the four components. What are those? So na atay bread, spread, filling, and side dish. Okay, but actually ang side, ang side dish is just optional. Okay. <clears throat> Right, let's talk about the sandwich bread first. So criteria, number one should be firm and thick enough to hold the filling, not so thick sandwich is dry. So depende sa niya kung unsang type of filling or palaman imo gamiton. If daghan kang ibutang nga palaman, then you should have a bread nga thick enough or firm to hold the fillings. But if, let's say for example, mayonnaise ra na imong koan, mayonnaise ra na imong gamiton um, as a spread for your sandwich, then you can use just katong mga normal nga sliced bread na to makita dali mo. Palit na to sa grocery stores. And then keep sliced bread covered to prevent drying. I think this is understandable and then toast immediately before sandwich assembly. Okay. Now what are the types of breads that we can use? So we can use, there are four types, we can use Pullman loaves, so example, can kind of white bread, whole white bread, um, rye bread, so kanisha. this is an example of a white bread. And then uh, we have the peasant style loaves, um, example, okay, pumpernickel, sardo, and then croissant, boule, so this is, uh, or wala well, example, but um, I think familiar mo croissant niya. Kanisha nga type of bread is like a tong dagko ganing brown normally. Kanang panghimo sa European nga style nga bread making. And then we have rolls as well. You can have hard roll, soft roll, kaisa roll, and buns. So, example ani atong pandisal, which is kigamit sa McDonald's para silang mga sandwiches said as well. And then this is a Kaiser roll um, example and then next would be flat breads like focaccia, pita, kiabata, tortilla or tortilla. tortilla. So this is a pita bread. 
So normally, kani yung mga bread kay from the word flat bread, meaning dili siya. Uh, parihaan ni nga kanang ni tubo. Flat bread ni siya. And then, we also have the wrapper. So rice wrapper, egg roll wrappers, and tortilla as well can be uh, used as a wrapper. Okay, now let's let's go to the next component of the sandwich, which is the spread. So, what are the criteria of spread? So, it should be moisture per year. Um, prevent the bread from being soggy. Now, this is important. Uh, it should prevent your spread should not um, make your bread soggy. And then, it should hold the sandwich together. It should add flavor and richness. It also add moisture and help hold the sandwich together. Uh, some filling include spread in filling mixture like ham salad so you don't need to add a spread and then flavor butter or mayonnaise based spreadable cheeses tahini jams and condiments are example of sandwich spread that you can use now there are vari varieties of spread base that we can use so number one uh, we can use butter spread so ang butter with any move of flavor like lemon herbs Anchovy, caviar, mustard, horseradish, pimiento, blue cheese, shrimp, olive, shallots, or scallion, curry, capers, etc. You can also use dairy product spread like ricotta, cream cheese, uh, Greek yogurt, cheese sauce, mascarpone cheese, feta cheese, etc. And then you can also use mayonnaise spread such as blue cheese dressing, Thousand Island honey mustard dressing. These are the things that you can buy in the grocery stores. And then you can also use meat and fish spread, such as tuna spread, roasted beef spread, etc. So those are the spread that we can use. And then next we have sandwich filling. So what can we use? We can use meat. Um, and then it should be properly cooked, vegetables properly clean and dried. So again, if we use lettuce, for example, sa atong BLT sandwich or bacon uh, lettuce tomato sandwich, so dapat ang atong um, leaves or lettuce kay dry to prevent the... Okay, if napan na siya water, uh, tendency is the water may drip with the uh, bread and it may cause the bread to become soggy. So mula na siya ang bread. Basa. And then the filling should determine how all other elements of the sandwich are selected and prepared. So what are the types of fillings that we can use? We can use vegetables, we can use meats, we can use fish and shellfish, we can also use cured meat, we can also use egg and cheese. So here, um, for vegetable we can use examples that we can use radish, slices, olives, pickles, capers, pimiento, Pickled onions, lettuce, slice of tomato or onion. Um, you can also, you can use fresh tomato or you can have it sauteed or roasted. Uh, same goes with the onion. You can have um, roasted onion or you can have fresh onions, depending on your preference. And then asparagus tips, cucumber slices, cherry tomatoes, uh, cherry tomato tomatoes are cut in mga tomatoes same size with the cherry and then watercress leaves marinated mushroom and then sprouts and then etc sprouts uh, commonly ang cutting sprouts is used for the Vietnamese nga mga um, sandwich and then you can also add meat for some protein so you can use roasted beef make sure lang yun nga these uh, meat are uh, cooked properly and then bra braised beef, steamed chicken, roasted chicken, smoked beef, grilled chicken, smoked turkey, breast, etc. And then you can also use fish. Examples are smoked oysters, smoked lamb, smoked salmon, smoked trout, pickled ear herring or earring, uh, shrimp, anchovy fillets, caviar, salmon or tuna flakes, crab meat lobster chunks or slices for the sardines and then uh, cured meat kata mga meat nga preserved like brisaula pastrami pepperoni proschiotto bacon ham salami sausages smoked meat smoked salmon 
there is a to a na tayong so here sa Philippines we have chorizo or longanisa so ano siya and then um eggs and cheese pwede ta mo gamit og eggs add up it can be boiled depending on your preference you pwede sa ni mo i fry uh sa ni side up pwede sa ni mo i omelet scrambled eggs swiss swiss cheese cheddar cheese feta cheese fresh mozzarella okay so those are the types of filling that we can use for a sandwich now the side dish so katen na to may paris sa sandwich so pwede siya what are the types of side dish that we can use can be green salad or side dish like potato salad pasta salad and coleslaw for example and then you can have sliced fresh vegetable and greens pwede siya pickled spears or olives you can use you can have dips spreads dressing or relishes and then sliced fruits French fries, potatoes, potato dishes like potato wedges, French fries, roasted potatoes, etc. And then condiments you can use tomato ketchup and then chili sauce, mustard, dressing, etc. Okay, now um, kindly watch this video so that this is very informative. So four levels of breakfast sandwich. So there are three levels or three chefs that is making a sandwich and then it's analyzed by a food scientist. So level one is Katuma, a mature cook, and then level two is the home cook, and then level three is the professional chef. So this is very, kanang, it's very informative. Good. So watch the video for you to, um, as a sort of applications at tong discussion. And then if you have questions, just comment uh, down below sa Google Classroom. Okay? So that's all about uh, preparing sandwich. See you.